Hi, this is a short video on using the Java Compute Node in IBM Integration Bus to easily leverage existing Java functionality and incorporate it into your workflow. This scenario is based on one of our client implementations where this solution helped them save a significant amount of ongoing licensing costs for a set of imaging products that did similar functionality. In this video, we're going to show you how to use IBM Integration Bus's Java Compute Node to leverage existing functionality or build new Java functionality. You'll also see how you could use MQ, File, Web Services, or other endpoints to build easy integration and incorporate existing Java functionality into your workflow. Our specific example integrates with Java Imaging Logic and APIs to split multi-page TIFF files, whereas I previously mentioned helped one of our clients save significant amount of licensing costs for imaging products doing the same thing for them. Before we get into the message flow, here's what has been set up already. We've defined input and output queues for the message flow. tiff.split.input is where we'll send our triggered message. And we defined a tiff.split.out queue, which is where we'll ultimately route our message to for further processing. We've also configured an application called tiff splitting with a message flow called split tiff. This message flow is made up of an MQ input configured to read from the tiffsplit.in queue a Java Compute node that has a default generated code, and an MQ output node configured to put to the tiff.split.out queue. We also have existing Java code developed to read a multi-page TIFF file and split it into individual TIFFs. And finally, we've already configured our environment to use external imaging JAR files added both to our build path as well as the IIB runtime environment. For the live hands-on portion of the video, we're going to complete this integration by showing you the XML input message that will trigger our message flow. We're going to add functionality in the Java Compute node to read this XML input message and call existing Java functionality to split our TIFF file. And finally, we're going to deploy and test. First, we're going to show you the multi-page TIFF file. We're going to send a test message to the input queue and then show the resulting TIFF files that were split. Now let's get started. First, here's the XML we will use to trigger our flow you will see we have tags for the input directory, the name of the TIFF file that we're going to split, and the output directory that we're going to put our split TIFF images to. We'll now go into the IBM Integration Bus Toolkit. As you can see, we already have our built application and message flow. We're going to double click into our Java Compute Node so that we can integrate with our existing Java functionality to split our TIFFs. So that you don't have to watch me type, I'm going to simply paste the few lines of code required to integrate with our logic. Here, starting from the top, we're getting our root element, we're getting the output MEDI of the message structure, and then ultimately to our root input XML tag. From here, we're going to be getting the input directory that we're going to read our TIFF from, the file name of that TIFF file, and the output directory that we're going to be putting the split TIFFs to. And finally, we're going to be calling this method passing in the input directory, file name, and output directory, which will take our input TIFF file and split the individual TIFF images to the output directory. That is all you need to do to interface with existing Java functionality. Now let's save this, do a clean build, and deploy the message flow so we can show you this solution working. Now that the application is deployed, let's show you the multi-page TIFF that we're going to split. As you can see here, we have page 1 and page 2 of our single multi-page TIFF file. We're going to go into this input directory and notice that we have this file already staged and ready to go. And when we trigger our flow with our test message, we'll be able to see these outputted TIFF files in this output directory. To send a test, we will use RFHUtil to write a message to our input queue. As you can see here, we have the test message ready to go. We're going to read from our input directory, read this multi-page TIFF, and put the split TIFF images to this output directory. We'll write this message to the queue. If everything was successful, we should be able to go back to our output directory and see our split images. As you can see here, we have TIFF1 and TIFF2 with our split images in our output directory. For our scenario, after the split, we simply put the test message to an output queue. Here is where, in your scenarios, you could do more advanced routing and integration with your workflow or develop additional functionality. 
Thank you for watching our video on using IBM Integration Bus's Java Compute Node to provide simple integration to existing Java functionality. Please visit us at www.transformatech.com. Reach out to us at info at transformatech.com for more information on our solutions or view our other video tutorials.